Welcome back to the lecture series on discrete mathematics. We are learning logic and this is video part 3. We are doing the first topic of the logic which is propositional logic and the propositional equivalences. In the previous lecture we have seen what is a statement, what is a proposition, what is negation, compound statement, simple statement, conjunction and disjunction. So in this video lecture, we are going to study the implication or the by implication. So let's just go to the definition and then the concept. The implication or the conditional statement, it is of the type if, then. Let P and Q be the propositions. The conditional statement or implication denoted by P implies Q is the proposition if P then Q. That means if P statement is there, then Q will happen. The conditional statement P implies Q is false when P is true and Q is false and true otherwise. Since P implies Q or the P is the condition for Q to happen, this is false only when P is true but Q is false. Otherwise, the statement is true. Let us see the table. In the table, you can see that the second row, P is true and Q is false. Since if P, then Q statement is there. In this case, P is true, but we are getting that Q is false. So this is not the case and therefore this is false. Otherwise, the entries are true. Let us see how we are going to write the statement. For example, the proposition P is it rains and the Q is I will wear a raincoat. Then P implies Q statement is if it rains, then I will wear a raincoat. If it rains, then I will wear a raincoat. That means if P is true, then I he is going to wear a raincoat. If he is not wearing a raincoat or if it is raining but he is not wearing a raincoat in that case what you have the truth table or the truth value as the false so let us see a few more example p statement is you are good in logic and q statement is you are good in computer science so what will be the statement p implies q let us not talk about the truth values right now let us write the statements only if you are good in logic, then you are good in computer science. That means the first statement implies the second one. That means first statement is the condition for the second one. Now the remark we have in the conditional statement, P is called the hypothesis or antecedent or premise. And Q is called the conclusion or the consequence. So we can say that if P then Q, in other words, if P comma Q. So we can avoid that term then, but this implies the same thing if P comma Q. Or we can say that P is sufficient for Q. Or we say that Q if P. Or Q whenever P. Or we can say that Q is necessary for P or Q when P or we can say that Q follows from P or we can also say a necessary condition for P is necessary condition for Q is P. See you are good in logic this is the necessary condition you are good in computer science. If you are good in logic, then you are good in computer science. So this is the remark. So let us go to the by implication or the by conditional statement if and only if. So interdependent two logical uh, statements are there. And let us see how we are going to connect it. Let P and Q be the proposition. The pi conditional statement P if and only if Q is the proposition 
and it is true when p and q have the same truth values and is false otherwise same truth values means they both of them are true or false at the same time only if we are going to take the truth value as the true see the first column if p is true q is true then the biconditional statement is true or if p is false q is false the biconditional statement is true otherwise it is false means it is true only when both of them have the same truth value it may be true or may be false but the truth value should be the same for example if p is i am rich and q is i own a ferrari car so p implies q is i am rich if and only if i own a ferrari car that means if he is rich then he is having a ferrari car if he is not having a ferrari car that means he is not a rich otherwise the statement is false so the first statement implies the second one and the second impl statement implies the first one and that is why it is called the by implication or by conditional statement let us see another example the statement p is two lines are parallel and q is two lines have the same slope so what will be the p double implication q two lines are parallel if and only if two lines have the same slope remark there are some other ways to express p double implication q p is necessary and sufficient condition for q if p then q and conversely as i'm saying if p is true then q is true if q is false then p is false if q is true then p is true and this way we can also say that p if and only if q so note there are n propositional variables in the proposition and the number of rows in the truth table is 2 raised to n since we are we have already talked about the compound statements now the compound statements are negation conjunction disjunction conditional statement and by conditional statement in the next video we are going to uh, construct the truth table for these compound statements and let us talk more about this in the next lecture till then thank you so much see you in the next video